It's me, KG, Chris Gardner, owner of the Houston Round Ball Review, local name, global perspective. Going to take a look at the schedule updates, schedule matrix for Rice Owls and Houston Cougars men's and women's basketball announced over the last few days by the respective AAC and Big 12. First up, the Rice Owls schedule matrix per the American Athletic Conference. Let's take a look at it. In case you don't know about the Quadrant 1 men's basketball for the NCAA, does Quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4 regarding the net rankings. Women's hoops, not just yet. A little bit different there. But for Rice, home and away opponents, Rice will play these teams twice, once on the road and once inside Tudor Fieldhouse. The net rankings are for, are based on last season's last date of last season. Charlotte, 98. USF, 159. Temple, 123. UTSA, 284. And Tulsa, 324. That's out of a possible, I think, 363. Home only for the Owls. ECU 190. FAU. Welcome to the American. Rice and FAU. FAU 13 net. North Texas 30. SMU 209. Away only. UAB 39. Memphis and Penny Hardaway squad 23. Tulane 107. Wichita State 110. Once again, that's the net rankings for the men's opponents for the Rice Owls. Coach Scott Perez, men's hoops team for the upcoming 23-24 season, net ranking based on the final date of last season. Rice women's hoops. Schedule matrix. Home and away, their opponents. ECU 94, Memphis 65, SMU 85, USF, the best team in women's basketball in the American, 39, Tulsa 111, home only. Charlotte, 200. North Texas, 198. Temple, 128. Wichita State, 110. Away only. UAB, 193. FAU, 218. Tulane, 96. UTSA, 165. Remember, USF won the regular season title. And East Carolina won the AAC Women's Basketball Conference Championship, defeating the Cougars in a slugfest. Rice Isles head coach Lindsey Edmonds announced the non-conference opponents for Rice a few days ago. Home games, Houston Christian, November 6th, their net 306. Georgia Tech on November 16th, net of 77. St. Mary's, California, November 19th, net of 193. Texas Southern, November 29th, 339. Gonzaga, December 9th, 49. Prairie View A&M. December 16, 289. So you see Rice, part of their non-conference home schedule, games against HCU, TSU, and Prairie View. So some in inner city rivalries, greater Houston area rivalries for women's basketball for Rice. Salute to Coach Edmonds for that. Road games. Abilene Christian, November 9th, 161. TCU, Big 12, November 12th, 131. Stephen F. Austin, November 25th, 68. AM Corpus Christi, December 2nd, 205. And last, December 20th, the Houston Cougars. Coach Ronnie Huey going against the Rice Owls again, back to back seasons. Last season matchup was a double overtime thriller, won by Rice. The Cougars net ranking of 73. And speaking of the Cougars, we're going to shift gears and go to their information for their Big 12 schedule matrix. Home and away, the opponents for the Cougs face these teams twice, once on the road and once inside the Fertitta Center. Baylor, 31. BYU, 109. UCF, 148. TCU again, 131. Texas Tech, 75. Home only. Cincinnati, 194. Iowa State, 15. Oklahoma, 38. And the team in burnt orange, the Texas Longhorns, coming to Fertitta Center, net ranking of 12. Be the first time the Cougs and Horns square off in women's hoops since 1998. Road game opponents only in the Big 12. Kansas, 30. Kansas State, net ranking of 58. Oklahoma State, 46. And West Virginia, 59. The Cougs non-conference schedule, I think, will be announced within the next coming few days. So look for that info posted here, of course, on the Houston Round Bar Review YouTube channel. 
Last but not least, the Houston Cougars men's basketball team. You can see a more detailed breakdown of the Cougs schedule. Look at the Cougs schedule by me in another video here on Houston Round Bar Review on YouTube. But for the Cougs, schedule matrix, courtesy of the Big 12, home and away, home opponents, home and away opponents, UCF, net of 66. The Bearcats of Cincinnati, 63. Iowa State, 25. Kansas, 9. Texas, 7. Home only, K-State, 24. Oklahoma State, 42. Texas Tech, 62. West Virginia, 24. Away only, Baylor, 17. BYU, 84. Oklahoma, 70. And TCU, 27. The Cougs, Coach Kevin Sampson, announced their non-conference schedule a few days ago. Home opponents, net rankings. Woo, as you see there, seven of the Cougs' eight non-conference home games project as Q4. That means a net ranking of 161 to 363. Only pin is a Q3 with a net of 138. The dates for these matchups. ULM, November 6th, net of 296. NM Corpus Christi, November 11th, 174. Stetson on November 13th, 163. Montana, November 24th, net of 170. Coach Perez Rice Owls, December 6th, inside Tudor, excuse me, inside Partita Center, net of 188. Jackson State, December 9th, from the SWAC, net of 308. Texas State, December 21st, net of 191. And of course, Penn on December 30th, net of 138. The one true road game, one true road game for the Cougs at Xavier in Cincinnati, part of the Big 12 Big East Challenge on December 1st. Xavier's net ranking last season, the final date of the last season, 18. Neutral site opponent, Cougs are participating in the Charleston Classic as well as the H-Town Showdown. Charleston Classic, December, excuse me, November 16th, 17th, and 19th. The teams participating in, listen to UH, Dayton, 77 net. LSU, 153 net. North Texas, net, as mentioned earlier, 30. St. John's, 91. Towson, 130, Utah, 80, and Wake Forest, 89. The H-Town Showdown. Cougs face the Texas A&M Aggies on December 16th inside Toyota Center. The Aggies bring in, had a net to end the season of 28. So a lot of different information there. Your thoughts on it? Some earth-shattering matchups, some not quite so earth-shattering, but keep in mind with the Cougs, Officially in the Big 12 now, men's hoops, all 18 of the Cougs conference games are projected to be quadrant one or quadrant two. So don't cry, whine, complain too much about UH men's basketball non-conference schedule. More videos, more content here on the Houston Round Bar Review. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you can receive notifications of new videos posted here on the Houston Round Bar Review. Follow me on threads at Houston Round Bar Review. Of course, Instagram, as well as on TikTok at Houston Round Bar Review. Twitter, for now, that's going to be called X at some point soon, is the HR Review. Looking for advertising for all the videos and content provided on these numerous platforms, including YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Roku, courtesy of the BS3 Network, when I do the lunch break shows on Thursdays. If you want to advertise, Get in touch with me, KG Chris Gardner at kgardner at thehrr.com. Contribute any way you can. Buy some Round Bar View merch. Link in the description below this video. Also, click on that dollar sign as a thank you. Show contributions that way as well. Help the Houston Round Bar View continue to keep hitting that rock. We belong together. We belong. Since 1994, the Houston Round Bar Review, local name, a global perspective. Take care. Peace.